In this video, I'm going to show you how to use R in R Studio to unzip a tar.gz file. If you haven't seen one, you probably will. I'm going to pull it up here and show you that I have two of these files. Uh, one is 2.8 gig and one is just very tiny. I had to download all of my WordPress and all of my website stuff because, again, I'm migrating it from one host to another. Um, to, I'm migrating it to a free host. That being said, let's just pr play around with this example file here. I don't even know what this is. I downloaded it from the internet. So that tar.gz at the very end is what we're dealing with, right? So how do we do this with R? So that's me. The website is markgingrass.com and cradletograverr.com. I, uh, I'm trying hard to minimize my post-production editing, so I'm putting the intros as you just saw it. At least that's the idea. <laughs> okay, anyways, that being said, let's get right to it. This takes just a few moments. We are gonna create a variable. We don't have to, but it's just gonna make it a little cleaner called file name and set it equal to the actual file. So for me, I have it under this downloads um, section here where when you click on the path, in the address bar, it doesn't give you the full path. It's giving you like the shortcut and it drives me insane. So I'm not sure how to get that path, except for if I right click on the file itself and go to properties, I can get the location here. So C drive users mark G backslash downloads. So I'm going to do a control C on that. And then let's get back to my R and do control. Well, let's put it in quotes control V here, but don't forget the backslashes don't really work in R because it's an escape character. So I'm going to use a forward slash instead. You could also use double backslash. That would also work. And it's not really, this isn't the file name. That's the file location. So I'm going to add another backslash and let's grab that name as well. It's way too complicated for me to remember. So I'm just going to copy that. Boom. Control C, bring it back and add it right here. Control V. And there we have it. We have our file name. Let's just go ahead and load that into memory. Control enter on that. You could see in the top right, my file name has been chosen. Now this is how simple this is going to be. We are literally just going to do untar. And this is a base R. You don't have to download any packages. Untar, and then just type in your file name. And you can actually do, I think it's list. List equals true. And that will actually list all of the file files contained within that. So let's do that first. All right, and that's also a good test to see if it actually picked it up correctly. So you should see down in my uh, console a list of all these files. Now, it's not really unzipped yet. Um, and oh, one more thing. Where is this going to put when I unzip it? Where is it going to go, right? So we got to figure that out. So let's just do a couple, uh, couple of examples here. We'll just do untar, and we'll just put file name on there without the, the list equals true and see where it goes. Um, I'm in this downloads folder here. I'm referring to the downloads folder, but but it's not going to go there. So I don't think anyways. I'm going to do control enter, see if that works. Instantaneously down here at the bottom, it seems to be done. But where did it go? Let's see. Downloads, it's not there. So let's figure out where we're at within this project. If we do get WD, get working directory, then you can see I'm working in the C drive colon users mark G documents. So that's where it must have unzipped it. So let's go to the documents, which is right here. And that file name was called phase geo. So it created this folder. You can see it's 727 PM. And if you can see in the bottom of my screen, it's 728 PM. What is this? Ah, oh. you know what? Pop-ups during a recording, that's free advertisement. They should give me some money for that. <laughs> Anyways, uh, we are back at it and that's where it went. It went here, if you double click on it, you can see that all of these different files are in there. And I don't know what they are. I just downloaded this off the internet. But that's how you do it. Because if you try to go to, let's go back to my downloads. If I, you know, you can see that my Microsoft Windows does not understand what this file is. So without downloading third party apps, turns out you already have a third party app that can do it called RStudio. It's very nifty, very handy, and I believe you can also set the directories as well. Uh, we could try that real quick while we're here. Uh, file name, comma, and we can add an X, I think EXDIR, yes. So I don't know what that stands for, but you know, uh, the directory that we're gonna put it in, we can 
put it in the same directory if we chose. And I believe if the directory is not present, it'll create it. So let's just call this uh, temp tar gz file, right? Let's see if this works. I'm not 100% sure. I got no error, so that's good. Now let's go back to the downloads. You can see temp tar gz, boom, it did it for us. So you can, you can definitely do it that way as well. That being said, this is a practical use of RStudio. It's not statistics, it's nothing crazy programming, but it's practical. If you had a directory full of tar.gz files, we can loop this and you can undo the entire directory at the same time. So if you find these useful, again, share, like, and thanks everybody that's been subscribing left and right. I really appreciate it and I will put out some more videos soon.